Hey Joe, this is Frank from Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you guys can do yourselves to help bring in more business just by better utilizing both your website and your Google business profile. All right, so I see you guys are plumbers in the Baltimore area, so I ran a quick Google search on Plumbers Baltimore, and this is the search results page that comes up and says, 90% of the people never click past the first page. If you are looking to grow to business in Baltimore, you're going to want to take up as much room on this first page as possible. Now, the first section is just the advertisers. So if you're not looking to pay Google for advertising, then you're going to want to focus on getting into the second and third sections of this page. Uh, the second section here is known as the Google Map Pack, and it only consists of the three businesses with the strongest Google business profile. And I see you guys already have a Google profile set up and that you're keeping it active. I saw some recent posts and everything, so that's all great. So then really the next step is to make sure that your business is uh, the most mentioned plumbing business in the Baltimore area. And so the way to do that is to get your business uh, registered in more online directories than these guys are listed in. Google is a popularity contest and they are just going to go across the Internet and look to see which are the most frequently mentioned plumbing businesses in the area and that's how they're going to determine who to pull in here. So you need to get your uh, business registered in those online directories um, and you're going to want to do that consistently in every directory using the same name, address and phone number as the one you have listed here uh, with Google in the Google business profile so that Google picks it up all as one business and you're able to outnumber these guys. So then it's a critical to get into this section because 30 to 40 percent of the traffic is going to go to the businesses in this section. Then the next section down here is known as the organic listings and to rank high in the organic section it's based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. So I wanted to compare your content and backlinks profile to the uh, number one site which actually happens to be ranked number sixth right now because all these online directories uh, that I was talking about earlier, Angie's List, Yelp, uh, they're all BBB, they're, they're all coming in ahead of these guys. So let's just look at your content and backlinks compared to them. So content wise, um, you have some good content on here, um, but you are short of what Google looks for in terms of the number of uh, words per page on the home page. They're looking for 1,500 to 2,000 uh, for them to consider you kind of optimized or an authoritative site or expert in the niche. Uh, you definitely, getting to that threshold will definitely help your ranking, uh, but you definitely want to beat out uh, the, the amount of content that your competitor has. And so, so the number of words per page is only one of the pieces of the content uh, puzzle, I guess. Uh, the other piece is you want to make sure that your content is rich in local buyer intent keyword phrases. Keyword phrases are the phrases that you want your business to be found for online. And since you're a service provider, you're going to want those keyword phrases to be local buyer intent keyword phrases, meaning that they reference both the service you provide and the location you provide those services in. So I use this tool called Arabs to analyze different websites. And I can see here that you're currently ranking for 282 keywords. So when I click into that, you can see exactly what keyword phrases you're ranking high for. And some of them are... In fact, like this one here is a local buyer intent keyword phrase referencing both the service and the location. And this will tell you the volume, the number of searches per month. So that's 100 searches per month that people are searching for that exact keyword phrase. And you're in the fifth position for that one. So uh, you do have some local buyer intent keyword phrases built into your, con into your content. But uh, right now, in, in most cases, you're ranking you know, on the second page or later. Um, and so that it could be due to the fact that you don't have enough content and so therefore you're not able to mention the keyword phrases as frequently as maybe some of your competitors are because Google is going to match up your content to the uh, search terms and that's how they're going to determine which are the, which the be best fit and are most relevant websites uh, to the search term. So that's one piece of the puzzle, the content piece. The second piece is what's known as the backlinks profile. So backlinks are just links from other websites over to your website and they give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as an endorsement of your site by those other sites. And so again with Google being a popularity contest you're going to want to have more backlinks than your competitors have and not only uh, in this case it's not only about quantity it's also about quality so you want to make sure that you are linking to uh, websites that are trusted sites uh, by Google and they're not uh, kind of spammy sites. Some sites are spammy, some are more authoritative. So 
is going to help your your profile and your your uh, organic ranking um, if you are linking to other trusted sites. And so uh, you can tell that because every site is given a DR score and a UR score. So the DR score is your trust score, and that's you know a good site is in the 30 or better range. And so um, when you are looking at your competitor sites, if you want to try to link to if, if somebody's outranking you and you want to, you know, add more backlinks to your site, you can look at who they're linked to and you can go out and see that most of them are going to be online directories and some blog posts. But you can go out and try to get those same sites pointed back at you, but you're only going to want to do that for the ones with the high DR scores. But let's just look at quantity for now. So right now you have 895 backlinks for 51 unique referring domains and your competitor warrior plumbing has 562 backlinks from 190 re unique referring domains so they have more backlinks so another recommendation would be to add continue to add backlinks um, go out to like i said you can click on this number you can see what sites they're linked to and you can try to go out uh, and get those same sites pointed back at you but again you're only going to want to do it for the higher dr uh, score sites so um, and you can look at some of those online directories that were uh, ranking above even warrior plumbing you know, uh, you know, Yelp and so forth. And you can see, you know, plug them into the tool. You can see they're going to have high DR scores. So you, they're going to have a lot of good uh, backlinks that you could try to copy. So that's what I would recommend doing. Adding content to your site so that you can add in more of the local buyer intent keyword phrases uh, so that Google, Google can match up your content uh, better to the search terms. And then the, the backlinks will provide the power to your ranking. And, and so, you know, we already talked about how to go out and and replicate some of the better sites that your competitors have. So I hope that information was helpful. If you wouldn't mind just replying and let me know if it was or wasn't so that I can continue to add value to small businesses, I would greatly appreciate it. And feel free to reach out with any questions as well. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.